still Washington, and Washington spins and twists with that lightning speed that he does possess. Close to another first down over midfield. That was the man we did not see in Dallas a couple of weeks ago. He had just gotten there, Baltimore, about a week before. And he's the guy that uh, you would expect to replace the speed and uh, the ground gainer that was left vacant by Lydell Mitchell. But there is the quickness. And there you just put everybody down. Officials, everybody. Just keep going. Reckless. New England leading 6 to nothing. Washington on the short yardage, and he knights through, gets the first down, down around the 46-yard line. Get there by Steve Nelson on the left side of New England's line. The Yankees came back. From New England's 23-yard line. This is Washington, and Washington spins and twists and gets to the 21-yard line. A gain of about a yard, a yard and a half. Will be third down and a long three. Plays with glasses, still Washington. I'm not sure I agree with that analogy. Well, you got to have hope, you know. And you know, the Yankees supply a lot of it for a lot of folks. Bill Washington, a fabled career at the University of Oklahoma, and this man hopes that he'll get some of the mileage that Idell Mitchell provided for Baltimore over the past few years. They're down three. There's a man open. It's Washington. Washington gets inside the five. Really well run pattern. Took the ball in the traffic too, Don. Yeah, those two outside guys cleared out that particular zone. Washington came out of the backfield, back around under, open it up. Proof had good protection. You'll see this time. Washington's coming from the other side. There he comes across the middle. Ball is zipped in there pretty good. It was really cleared out well. You hit the key. Car and Dowdy on the other side. Key item, when you circle it back around one side and bring him all the way across the field, then you're getting good protection. Joe Washington, the speedster acquired from San Diego, out of Oklahoma in exchange for Lydell Mitchell. Wears eye guards for the cataracts from which he suffers. Interesting human interest story. And he goes to the 27, Washington. Oh, that's fun. He is looking oh, very fun. good tonight. Quick springs in his legs. Just jump, springs. Pops out there for eight yards. Who? Carried the ball now four times for 24 yards. It'll be second down and six. Ball resting just over the 32-yard line. 314 remaining in the half. Patriots over the Colts, 13 to seven. Washington sprints to the outside. Headed off at the pass by Doug Bedoin. He was looking for that first down marker. He did not get it as he gets to about the 36, 36 and a half yard mark. Bedoin's with the sore shoulder. Big toss will try it this way. Washington cuts back. He got that gets first. the first down. Well, he'll turn it up there. He's made so much difference in just to watch their offense. They did not have that kind of speed in the backfield when we saw him two weeks ago. Seven. Wilson pumps one, which will be taken by Washington at the 10. And Washington finds a little gap and moves out to the 33 yard line with all the receivers. Doughty 35, Roger Carr number 81. And off goes to Washington and the flag goes down. As Washington goes down. 17-yard line. And off Washington. And Washington. Runs smoothly through a hole over the left side out to the 23-yard line. He does make a difference back there. That's back there. He really does. He's having a fine night, and he's giving Baltimore fans hope. Pickup of six. It'll be second down and four. Pace himself. Accelerate. And all good backs must have. Washington again. Out close to a first down before he's driven back by big Sam Hunt, number fifth. The right goes Doughty. Washington gets the call, and Washington hit behind the line of years. And they are really going at New England tonight. Here's Washington. Good. Washington right into the arms of Tony McGee. 
the 20, second down and seven. Because Washington, <laughs> and Washington collected there by number 57, Steve Nelson. Federal coverage, Mike Haynes against Roger Carr. He gets the completion, the first down. 49-yard line of New England, and here comes their Washington. Washington. Gets five yards, and this young man's doing a lot of it on his own. He really is. He wiggles, he squirms, he's in there, he's unafraid, and he's quick. I tell you, New England's going to get themselves in a lot of trouble here. He was shaken up, you saw a moment ago. Washington gets the call, skirts to the outside, and <laughs> loses another jersey. Gets a yard, a yard and a half. It'll be second down and eight. You saw Lunsford. He was a little disgusted with the jersey that he wound up with. He thought he had him for a loss. Wound up gaining about a yard. Under any circumstances, Washington was behind closed doors. Oh, it's a rainy night in Boston town. Bill Cobb. And we begin the fourth quarter. You can see the rain coming down. It's also coming partially into our booth, affecting our equipment here. One of our monitors with a little bit of a problem. A lot of the fans staying on, however. New England frustrated with their play tonight, I'm sure. Baltimore has to be delighted, particularly with their defense. They perform well. First and 10, Baltimore. 46-yard line, their own 46. Goss goes to Washington, and he can pass. He has a man wide open. He's got Roger Carr. Roger Carr. How do you like that? I liked it. Joe Washington. 54-yard Baltimore touchdown. Well, they call him Nappin. The guy who has to be the happiest man in the country at the moment in terms of football is Ted Marsha Broder. He said his team would hang together, and tonight he's being proved right. Hey, that wasn't a bad pass. He put that right, he put it right there. He sure did. New England completely suckered. I believe that's uh, Haynes he's working on over there. He came up the force that way. He just caught him, man. That was it's amazing how often it works. It's like a little more than a yard. It's third down and nine. He's got Good. Joe Washington all right alone. Open. It's yes, Washington. Sir. Oh, that was pretty. He had him on Nelson most right. all the way. Isolated him on the linebacker. Washington having a brilliant game and suddenly making the Lydell Mitchell trade favorable to Baltimore. Well, you could just see it. Nelson moves late. You see number 57 in there. It actually wasn't Nelson that was on him. I called that one. Rod Schott. Rod Schott. But he'll never stay with a setback. The yeah. linebacker covering the setback is what you always want to get if you can work it out. I think he just really kind of hesitated at one step, Frank. And First and 10, Baltimore, their own 28-yard line. Washington, he's been the man of the night for Baltimore, loses another jersey. And he also picks up three yards, moving out over the 30-yard line, close to the 32. One side kicking. No, they're not going to risk giving the other side field position, quickly get into field goal position. That's right. You do have a minute and 32 seconds. Washington Johnson Marshall Johnson is deep. Joe Washington is back there. Both of them capable of breaking it. Colts have three timeouts. New England has two. Archer Broda at victory. This is Tuck Fairbanks. Archer Broda, of course, thought he had it all tied up. Holding penalty assessed in the end zone. Gave Baltimore that first down inside the one. Wilson. This is Joe Washington. That is Joe Washington. Look at this. That is oh, Joe Washington. He stays on his feet. He has great speed. That is Joe Washington. Oh, <laughs> this. How could it happen? Oh, what a football it. game this turned out to be. How about Joe Washington? Do you believe Joe Washington's night? You couldn't have a greater football game. And this Baltimore team has really come to life in the worst possible circumstances, and the guy who's done it is Joe Washington, who is a quiet, almost quietly, <laughs> look at Grogan, Steve Grogan. The, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, you could sense it. He started right, cut back. Right. Bad coverage by New England, and just keep in mind, he maintained his balance. He has that great speed. <laughs> What a night he's had. He's done it all. Oh, as a runner, as a passer, as 
a receiver and right here as a kick runner. You couldn't ask for more from an individual. One of the finest individual nights we've ever seen on Monday Night Football. Let's vote him outstanding offensive player.